Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Paul Brown Show. This evening, my guest will be Miss Jackie Stewart. How are you doing there, Miss Stewart? Hi, I'm good. Tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm originally from Charlotte, North Carolina. I attended Providence High School. I'm currently attending Central Piedmont Community College for my associates in early childhood education. Okay. I'm the owner of a lot of favorite bail bonds and Stewart Automotive Solutions. So you own your own business, two businesses. Yes, sir. What inspired you to want to start your business? Well, I really just wanted to do something where I could really be my own boss and I could help people. Just help people, huh? Yes. Okay, let's talk about your first business, your auto business. Tell us a little bit about that. The auto business? Yeah. Well, I just started it this year, and it's a small business. Um, I buy cars from the auction and I sell them to people at low price. Okay, you said a small business. You know, small businesses grow up to be bigger business and huge. So we're gonna see you in a couple of years, really large. Tell the audience a little bit about a typical day that goes in to your auto dealership. Well, right now I'm only doing wholesale. Okay. The plan is to actually get my own lot. I'm looking in, actually searching for a lot right now. Okay. So typically, um, I go to the auction. I might go to two auctions per day and make sure, you know, check out the cars, make sure I get a good car and get the mechanic to look at it and just bid on cars. Why is that important to not only bid on a car, but to have that mechanic check these cars out? Well, I want to, even though I'm selling them at low price, I want to make sure I'm not selling no junk. I want to make sure they got a reliable car that they can depend on. I mean, because that's very important because a lot of people, they go out there and they buy cars and one week, one week, one day later, they break down. And, you know, I'm saying it's, it's good that we have someone like yourself out there that's looking out for the community and trying to sell them some, you know, real good cars. Yeah, and that's I, very important to me. I, I don't want to sell no junk. I want it to be reliable, something to get them to and from the work and get their daily needs accomplished. So... What inspired you to want to start an auto business? Well, actually, I used to have a friend that was selling cars, and I seen how he was doing, and I just thought it was a good adventure. What was about it that, that you liked? Well, I actually, I like going to the auction. I like being able to bid on cars, and I like the smile I put on people's face when I'm able to get them an affordable car. Oh, okay. So will you see yourself at five years from now with that, that dealership? Well, hopefully I have my own lot soon and I can sell some. Right now I'm only selling used cars. Maybe I can sell some new cars, have more cars, and help more people. Speak it into existence, ma'am. You know, just tell the audience you're going to have those things in a couple of years. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That has to be a good feeling. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Now let's talk about that bail bondsman. Oh, how long have you been doing that, Jackie? I started the bail bond business in 2010. 2010. So what inspired you to want to do that? I mean, a bail bondsman? Not you. You, don't, you just don't have the face of somebody who want to be a bail bondsman. Yes. Well, like I said, I like helping people. And when people go to jail, you know, it's called a lot of favor bail bonds. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they need that extra bit of in help to get them out. Okay. How does someone, you know, how do they reach you? Or what's, what's the criteria to get your service? Well, first, um, my number's in the phone book at the Mecklenburg County Jail and a couple other jails. And as long as you have a reliable person that will sign for you, a, we call it a co-signer that can okay. sign and vouch that you will go to court. That's the most important thing is making sure you go to court and make sure you pay the money. Do you have a lot of problems with that or do you really, people normally do what they say they are going to do? Normally, people do what they say they're going to do. I done had to go look for a few people before, but normally they do what they say they're going to do. Do you actually go out there and look for these people, or do you send somebody out there to... Oh, yeah, I go. I hunt. Go... I do the bounty hunting. Not I... the bounty hunting? <laughs> oh, no, not Jackie Stewart. I have to go get them. I will knock on the door. I, I go get them. I have a crew, crew of people that go with me also. Oh, okay. So you like dog, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you go after them, huh? Yes, sir. So how does that make you feel when somebody, I mean, when you go out there and you put trust in them by 
bailing them out, bond, you know, bonding them out, and then they don't show up to court because really that's all they have to do. Yeah, really, it's what I understand. A lot of times, people sometimes people forget court, and sometimes they get in other trouble, and they scared to go. Oh, they don't forget now. <laughs> see, you don't forget about that court date now. So when Come it's on. a small bond, you might, and then with, um, especially with the Mecklenburg County, a lot of times they have mixed your court dates up. Oh no, they don't. They don't mix that court date up. That court date is set. <laughs> I'm telling you, Jackie. See, you come on with that. They know when that court date up. But let's get back into serious business now. Okay. I mean, because I guess that fear comes in, you know, the closer that date comes in, the closer people start thinking, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God, I'm going to get my 30 years, you know, so they, they start. So what's the smallest and the biggest bond you had to give or ever had to give out? Well, I guess the smallest bond, probably like $200, $200 bond. Okay. An average bond would be like a $1,000 bond. That's the average. I've had a 100000 bond come. But average like thousand dollar bond. Okay, what's now? You said thousand dollars now. Is it like a you have to pay it like a percentage or how does that? So when the bond is like a thousand, normally anything over a thousand I do ten percent. Mm -hmm. Under a thousand is the fifteen percent. So okay. like a thousand dollar bond, I had to pay one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. But a two thousand dollar bond, I only pay like two hundred dollars. So a hundred thousand. What type of offense would that be for? It could be a gun charge. It could, uh -huh. be, it could be anything. It depends on just the magistrate and they go by your record, how they set the bond. You, had, you ever had to bond out like a, someone with a violent offense, like a murder charge or something? Um, I've had an attempted murder, I believe, but I don't think I have a murder charge, no. Mm. So do you get that adrenaline going when that, you know, when you go handle you put that hat on with that bail bondsman do you is there a certain drilling that's different than Actually, from that honor deal yes when i'm going to hunt i do get a drilling and sometimes there she goes ladies and gentlemen she says she's hunting <laughs> well, better be sometimes careful we be out all night have to actually like stake out on people uh -huh. well yeah really yeah it's fun to me where do you normally first start looking for the person at i mean well I, when they first or oh, is that confidential? I mean, because you don't want to give up your Yeah, little but secrets normally I listen to them. Each client, I listen to them. Mm -hmm. I get information from them. I remember the stuff they tell me in some places they might hang out. I listen to all the information. I use the information that I get from them mostly to find them. So they kind of like tell on themselves, huh? Most of the time, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you give them like drug tests, um, you know? And No, I haven't got to that level yet. No yeah. drug tests, no. Okay. But, um, oh, but why is that important to possibly get that into your, you know, the drug test, I mean, because you don't feel like that's important to... Well, not really. It's not? Not for me. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm, so, um, influences, who are some of the people that have influenced you? Well, with the bail bonds, um, my partner, my original partner, Kareem Harris, um, I was looking because you had to work under somebody for a year when you first signed up to do bail bonds. And I looked all over Charlotte trying mm -hmm. to find somebody, but no one wanted me to work for them. Yeah. Somebody introduced me to a young man named Kareem Harris, and he was actually in Raleigh. Okay. And just so happened he was looking for somebody in Charlotte to work. So we connected, and I worked under him for a year, and mm -hmm. it turned out real good. So what are some of the experience that you got from watching this gentleman do his work? The main thing, what I learned from him, because you know we have to pay uh, the insurance company. Okay. Sometimes you know you want to give people deals and stuff, but the main thing he taught me is make sure you get the insurance money first. Okay. Let them owe you, but don't let them owe you that insurance money. Why is that important? Because a lot of times people don't pay, and you okay. end up paying at your own pocket if you don't. Okay. Yeah. God, so we don't want to get in that paying at your pocket. No. So that really put that, yeah. that you really go after them. Yeah, then, have to huh? find for real then. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Your family, how do they influence you, um, you know, with all these that you do, all these? Oh, I have a great family. They're very supportive. My mom, she does bell bonds also. She does? Yes. Your mother? Yes. Oh, and, um, God, I could hit. <laughs> <laughs> she knock on that door too. Uh, she don't. Uh, she don't out. do any hunting or anything. Yeah. But yeah, she's a licensed bail bondsman. But I have a very supportive family. My dad, my sisters, everybody, everybody supports. Yeah. 
How about your kids, your children? Oh yeah, they, I'm trying to get my son, he just turned 18, I'm trying to get him to go on the path, but he don't want to do it. <laughs> Why not? He just don't. He don't. He got his yeah. own thing going on. He's oh, a senior okay. at Garinger High School. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, guys. So where do you see yourself at five years from now? Five years from now, hopefully, I'll still be doing the bail bonds, because I, I really like doing the bail bonds. And hopefully I have my own car lot. That's the goal, to get my lot. Now you're also attending Central Piedmont. Where, I mean, what's, what's, what's your major? Early childhood education. Why did you choose that? Well, I always, from a little girl, I always said I was gonna be a bondsman and own a daycare. Mm. And now it's just, was the I had the opportunity to go back to school, so I'm just doing it. Where do you fit that into your schedule? Oh, I, I make it work. You got to. Yeah. It's an investment. Mm -hmm. How does it feel like to know that you're investing into your life? I love it and I like um, for my kids to see it and so they'll know how important education is. Mm -hmm. I have a daughter, she's 11. Uh -huh. My son, like I said, he's 18, he's at Garinger. And I just want them to see me I want a degree. My mom and my sister, they graduated together from Central Piedmont. And oh, okay. I was, if my mom can go back and get her a degree, I can get mine. So how much longer you have before you get your, are you getting your associate? Associates. How yes. much longer do you have to go? Um, about a year. A year? Yes. What do you like most about going back to school? Well, it's, I like to learn. So I learn something new every day and it's a, learning is a good feeling for me. I like the feel, I like the drive I get, it just motivates me. Being an entrepreneur, what advice would you give someone who wants to, you know, start a business? I say if you want to do it, sometimes you just need to write it down, write your vision down, make it plain, and just go for it. What is the biggest thing that stops people from going to start that business? You know, they like that nine to five job or, you know, they hate it, but then again, they have to do it. Why do people don't want to start a business? They're very I think business. it's fear. A lot of times people have fear and then they get so dependent on the job. But for me, it's, I just be your own boss. You can do it. And you do a great job. I mean, I, I applaud you for, you know, not only being a bail bobbing, you're starting your business, you're going back to school, you're doing so many different things. And, you know, you because I know you have to be really focused mm -hmm. in order to do that because it's like time consuming and a lot of times you want to do this, but then again, you have to do that. So how do you keep that focus? Well, I just try to balance everything out and I make sure I take my me time. I do a lot, but I take my me time and I just keep my faith in God, that's been a big, big factor for me. And my family, just keep me real grounded. How important is God into your life? Oh, it's very important. God is everything. He's the center of it all. Yes. Yes. Has there ever been a time when you wanted to quit? Mm, yes, it has. I know it's been a time I've been so behind, back though with the bail bonds, with bonds, people not going to court, and I had to pay so much money that, yeah, it gets tiresome, but I know you got to keep going. And that comes from the support of family and keeping mm -hmm. God first. Mm -hmm. You got to do yeah, that. You, mm -hmm. and, I mean, you, you smile. So what do you like doing? I mean, other than making that money with the businesses, what do you like doing? What does Jackie what makes Jackie smile? Oh, of course. You know, I love shopping. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not the shopping. Yes, I love shopping. I love to travel. Uh -huh. I make sure I go to church. Uh -huh. You know, I, I go out sometimes. Keep a balance. I just oh. keep a balance. Watch her. She's jumping now. When she, she bouncing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You ain't at the club, ma'am. I'm not yet. No. Hold on. No. Yeah, I keep a balance. <laughs> real, it real. And you enjoy yourself. I can see yeah. that smile on your face. You're just really having fun with life, huh? Yeah, I try to be happy on purpose. You got to be. Mm -hmm. Those negative th people that comes into your life, what do you do? Oh, no, I try to stay away from negative people. I love positive energy. I thrive off positive energy. I try to keep all the negative away. Why is that important? The negative, too much negative will bring you down. 
You know, you got to be around positive people, positive influences. You know, you got some haters out there. They hate some Jackie because Jackie doing what she do. I mean, I hope you know that now. I mean, but that's life. How do you handle, how does Jackie handle those haters? Well, really, I, I don't let the haters get to me. You know, I dust them off. No, don't dust them <laughs> off. Please, Jackie, please don't. You got to. Mm -hmm. You got to. No. You don't want to name some of them haters out there. Here. Oh no, we're not starting that. Let's not do that, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going. We're not going to name some of them haters, but she know who they are. Mm -hmm. You know them. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just like to be an example for other people, young women. You know, we have to stick together. Especially with all what's going on in the world today. You know, we have to just love. I try to thrive off love. Okay. Being a woman with all these, with the businesses that you do, do you think? It's kind of like it's harder for you or much easier to, you know, to have these business. Well, you would think it would be harder, but actually it's kind of easier. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of help. I get my way. You do? Uh oh, you get yeah. your way. You get your way. <laughs> How do you mean you get your way, ma'am? I get the extra help that they wouldn't normally help a man with. They might feel, you know, want to yeah. help me. Yeah, okay, okay. That's That's... Going back to school, going, I mean, that has to be a good feeling. It, it really is. It really is. I mean, and, you know, when you see life passing you by and all that, and you see all the everyday challenges that you have to face, you know, it's, you know that you have to take one day at a time. Mm -hmm. you know, if someone wanted to get in contact with you, how would they do that? Um, well, I'm actually on Facebook, Jackie Stewart. I'm on Instagram, Jackie Stewart. Um, my telephone number, my business.